okay this is a very beginner friendly pattern you're going to need your yarn your tapestry needle a pair of scissors and your selected hook I'm using a 3.5 millimeter hook okay I'm going to start off with a magic circle you can start off with a chain of four if that's more easy for you and I'm going to make six single crochets in my loop so one two three four and five and six then I'm going to close my loop and I'm going to slip stitch into the first single crochet I had made chain one you're going to make a single crochet into the first stitch and an increase in the second one that means that you're going to make two single crochets in one stitch one single crochet and an increase one single crochet and an increase you should have a total of nine stitches at the end of this round so one two three four five six seven eight and nine yes you are going to slip stitch into the first single crochet you made For the third round, we are going to make one single crochet and an increase in the second one. In the next two stitches, I'm going to make one single crochet and into the third one, I'm going to make and increase so one and two I'm going to make one single crochet in each of the next two stitches so that's one and two and into the third stitch I'm going to make an increase And into our last and final stitch I am going to make a single crochet and I'm going to slip stitch into the first single crochet at the end of this round round number three I have a total of 12 single crochets for round number four I'm going to chain one and in each of the next three stitches, I'm going to make a single crochet. So one, two, and three. And into the fourth one, I'm going to make an increase. So one, and two. one single crochet in each of the next three stitches so one two and three and into the next one we are going to make an increase so one and two one single crochet into the next three one two and three and into the last one I'm going to make an increase 
so one and two at the end of the round at the end of round number four I'm going to have 15 stitches I'm going to cut off this dangling piece and I'm going to push it in so that it doesn't hinder my work round number five round number five is chaining one one single crochet in each of the next two stitches so one and two and then I'm going to make an increase in each of the next four stitches I'm going to make a single crochet so one two three and four and in the fifth one I'm going to make an increase of so one and two in each of the next four stitches I'm going to make a single crochet so one two three and four and in the fifth one I'm going to make an increase so two single crochets in the fifth one now we are left with two stitches at the end we are going to make one single crochet in each of the two stitches so one and two at the end of round number five I have a total of 18 single crochets and this is what my work looks like so far round number six is going to be five single crochets in each of the next five stitches so one two three four and five and then an increase so for this round we are going to increase in every sixth stitch one single crochet in the next five stitches so one two three four and five and then an increase one single crochet in the next five stitches one two three four five and then an increase into the last stitch slip stitch to the first single crochet at the end of round number six I have a total of 21 stitches before I move forward, if you think that I'm going a bit too fast for you, please pause the video or slow it down. Reach up to round number six and then we can continue. Round number seven, chain one. One single crochet in the next in each of the next three stitches. So one, two, three. And then an increase in the fourth one this was just once for the next six stitches in each six stitch we are going to put one single crochet so one two three four five and then six and in the seventh stitch we are going to make an increase one single crochet in each of the next six stitches so one two three four five and six then we're going to have an increase one and two we're left with three stitches now one two and three 
we are going to make a single crochet in each of the three stitches so one two and three so round number seven is done and at the end of round number seven I have a total of 24 single crochets for round number eight I am going to increase in every eighth space so for the next seven stitches you are going to put a single crochet in each of them one two three four five six and seven and an increase in the eighth stitch one two three four five six seven an increase in the eighth stitch then one two three four five six seven and an increase so at the end of round number eight I have a total of 27 single crochets round number nine in each of the next four stitches I'm going to make a single crochet so one two three and four and I'm going to make an increase now now the pattern for the next two slots is eight single crochets one two three four five six seven and eight and in the ninth stitch I'm going to make an increase so one and two again one single crochet in the next eight stitches so one two three four five six seven eight and then an increase in the ninth one and we have four stitches left so we increase in the fifth stitch initially so we did four single crochets and then an increase and now we have four stitches left so we are going to make one single crochet in the last five stitches I'm going to slip stitch At the end of round number nine I have a total of 30 stitches round number 10 chain one we are going to increase in every 15th stitch so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and into the fifteenth stitch I'm going to make two single crochets <clears throat> and this is going to be a pattern for round number ten 
14 single crochets and then an increase I'll see you at the end of round number 10 okay so I'm at my last increase you're going to slip stitch into the first stitch and at the end of this round you have a total of 32 single crochets for round number 11 you're going to chain one you're going to make a single crochet in each of the next eight stitches so one two three four five six seven and eight and then you're going to make an increase so one and two now in each of the next 15 stitches you're going to make a single crochet one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and into the next stitch I'm going to make an increase so one and two I'm left with seven single crochets now seven chain spaces or seven stitches and I'm going to make one single crochet in each one of them so one two three four five six and seven at the end of round number 11 I am going to have a total of 34 single crochets now what you're going to do is you are going to slip stitch in the next stitch slip stitch into the next then you're going to chain one and you're going to turn your work now we're going to work in the back loop only the loop that you see this week the back loop is this one this is the back loop you're going to make one single crochet in each of the next 16 spaces so one it's a little hard to go in the slip stitch There you go. Oh my god, what am I doing? Here you go. So one. Two. Three. Keep in mind that we're working in the back loops only. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 
14. Fifteen and sixteen, and then into the next space, I'm going to make an increase. I'm going to repeat the same pattern again: sixteen single crochet and an increase in the seventeenth one. Do not forget that in this round, we are working in our back loops. This is a V, this is the V, and this is the back loop, the loop that's away from your crochet hook. Carry on with this round, 16 single crochets, 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, and into the 17th one, I'm going to make an increase. Okay, at the end of round number 12, I have a total of 36 single crochets. You're going to slip stitch into the first stitch you made okay so if you look at your work now it looks something like this maybe it looks like a hat but it's not a hat we're working into a sweet little sailboat for round number 13 our pattern is very simple you're going to chain one and now we are going to make work in both loops like we work normally we just wanted to give us give this round a tilt backwards so you're going to make one single crochet into the next 17 single crochets so two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17 and you're going to make an increase into the next 18 stitches in each of the next 18 stitches I'm going to make a single crochet one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen 15 
Okay, I've made a mistake here. I'll, let me check and then I'll come back. Okay. Um, I did not make a mistake. I just had to rip two rounds for no reason and I had to redo them again. Okay, for round number 14, as we were doing, 17 single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 and then an increase in the 18th one Then we're going to make a single crochet in each of the next 18 stitches. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and in the next one I'm going to make an increase. I'm left with one single crochet and I'm going to make one single crochet and slip stitch into the next stitch. So that at, at the end of round number 14, I have a total of 40 single crochets. This is going to be the 15th round. This is the second last round. Technically, it's the last round, but you'll see. You're going to make one single crochet in each of the next 18 stitches so two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. And into the 19th one, I'm going to make an increase. So 1 and 2. Now, each, in each of the next 19 stitches, you're going to make a single crochet. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and then in the 20th one I'm going to make an increase. I'm left with one stitch so I'm going to make a single crochet in that you're going to slip stitch into the first stitch you made initially 
at, at the end of this round we have a total of 42 stitches okay now this is what it looks like now we're going to shape it into a boat after you're done doing the next round the next round is the easiest and the quickest round you're required to chain one two single crochets so one and two and in this, the rest of the stitches you're going to make slip stitches so go around make your slip stitch in each stitch and then I'll see you at the end once we are done making slip stitches in each of our stitches okay so I'm almost at the end of my round once I'm done with my last slip stitch that is now I am going to slip stitch into the first single crochet I had made now you're going to fasten off your work there you go weave in your ends using your needle I like to put my end inside as it's easier so just go in a few stitches Just pick up a few loops, go in a few stitches, in, out, in, out. I tend to stitch a bit tight, so my stitches are quite tight. That is the reason I'm having a hard time putting my needle in. Okay. I think this is the stitch I'm going to go in now. And this is the last time I'm going in a stitch. Okay. Did your work? okay here you go now you can shape your board the way you want it to be stretch it a little give it a little tug here you go and this is what our board looks like once we are done making it if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you are new here please subscribe and hit the bell icon before i go i just want to tell you that i do not own the pattern to the sport i found it on pinterest if there are any other free patterns that you want me to make please give me a comment drop it in a comment and i'll try my best to make it for you next video is going to be our bobble letter c if you've made this port, please let me know how it turned out and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.